Hello everyone, Windy City Comic Books here. Um, I just thought I'd go through my little collection of uh, war comics, um, or my Silver Age war comics, um, just consisting of Our Army at War and GI Combat. Uh, this is number 158 of Our Army at War, featuring Sergeant Rock. This is Our Army at War, number 163. A Joe Kubert cover, which did a lot of the artwork for this uh, series. Army at War, number 178. Sergeant Rock and Easy Company again, another Joe Kubert. Um, actually, our Army at War was published uh, by DC and it ran from uh, 1952 to 1977. It's a pretty long run. Especially for a war comic, I wouldn't think it would be that popular, but. Another one that's our Army at War number 194. Joe Kubert. Our Army at War number 196. All these books are in pretty decent shape. That's how I say very fine to uh, maybe like 9.2. I don't think I have anything above that or below, uh, below 8.0 either. Our Army at War, number 204. It's kind of interesting colors for a war comic. Bright yellow, purples, greens. And actually with Sergeant Rock, too. Um, actually, his first appearance was in our Army at War, number 81, in 1959, along with his uh, group, Easy Company. Here's another Army at War, number 218. Again, Joe Kubert. Easy Company. He also did Enemy Ace. I think his first appearance was in number 151, again by Joe Kubert. It's our Army at War, number 224. Another Joe Kubert. And actually, uh, Neil Adams made his DC comic debut uh, with our Army at War, number 182. He just did a few stories and I think some covers for him too. But that's my guy, Neil Adams, man. Love that guy. Alright, starting GI Combat. This is number GI Combat number 110. GI Combat number 111. Another Joe Cooper. Featuring the Haunted Tank. GI Combat number 112. And actually with uh, GI Combat, I think the initial focus um, was just on like American soldiers, like GIs involved, involved like in the Cold War and uh, their adventures and had really like strong anti-communist themes. But they kind of uh, evolved towards uh, World War II, and during the Vietnam War, um, what I understand, the, during the Vietnam War, the GI combat books and all these war books kind of, you know, had parallel issues, you know, with the Vietnam War in the GI combat books. If that makes any sense. I translate that very well. Uh, GI combat number one nineteen. I think this is the worst condition one I had. I think it was maybe a fine. Most of these books are pretty sharp, um, but they always have like a little bit of rounded corners, some stress wear on the spine, but this one's kind of beat up pretty bad. I like those cover colors though. That's a nice book. GI Combat number 120. Just appearance, Sergeant Rock and Ace Johnny Cloud. <laughs> uh, GI Combat number 121. GI Combat number 124. I'm trying to zoom in here a little bit. Bear with 
me here. Don't want to get anybody dizzy by shaking the camera. GI Combat number 126. And great colors. GI Combat number 127. GI Combat number 129. And actually, uh, GI Combat began in 1952 with Quality Comics, and then uh, DC acquired the rights to the characters and titles, and they took over uh, took over the issue with uh, number 44 in 1957. That's number 133. GI Combat number 134. A lot of uh, notable artists and writers worked on uh, this series, but I think most notable, at least to me, are uh, Joe Kubert and uh, Neil Adams. I don't really follow the artists back there, back then. Or I mean the writers, I'm sorry. GI Combat number 137. GI Combat number 139. Starting to get into the 15 cent issues here. GI Combat number 140. GI Combat number 141. One of the most notable characters of uh, G.I. Combat was uh, the Haunted Tank, which first appeared in uh, number 87 in 1961. And actually, the G.I. Combat, the entire run went, we had a really long run, it actually uh, went to two, eight, number, issue number 288 in 1987. This is G.I. Combat number 143. It's the last issue I have. I've got a lot of issues, but <laughs> the last GI Combat issue I have. All right, folks, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll till next time.